All right, thanks, Mike. Well, turning to our coronavirus coverage now, Nevada saw its biggest three-day jump in coronavirus cases yet over this weekend. Now, because of this, Envy Health Response launched a daily COVID-19 teleconference to provide updates. Brian Hoffman has an update on what cases look like in our state. Since Friday, Nevada has seen 2,654 new coronavirus cases, bringing the total number to 17,894 here in the Silver State. For the last seven-day period, beginning ending on June 28th, cases are continuing to grow at a rate of 4.1%. That 4.1% means that, on average, Nevada is seeing 624 new cases every day. For comparison, the growth rate a month ago was 1.4%, or 116 new cases per day. While there are many factors in seeing an increase in cases, officials say one of them is an increase in testing. We've worked very hard since the beginning of this response and really over the last uh, 8 to 10 weeks in building our capacity as a state to make sure that people can get tests. The second factor would be an increase in contact tracing, having the ability to track down a larger number of those who may have been in contact with the infected individual. The third component of this increase is, as would be expected when you, can, um, when you reduce restrictions on uh, uh, public interaction of people, then this case, uh, then these cases will continue to um, to grow as well. The state is also seeing more hospitalizations from coronavirus cases. On average, hospitals in the state are at 74% capacity. Intensive care unit capacity for all patients is at 69%, and 31% of the ventilators are being used. The ICU and ventilator numbers have been pretty stable, which indicates to hospital experts that although more patients are requiring hospitalizations, the cases are not uh, reaching a level of seriousness that requires ventilators. Most of the cases are in Clark County, with Washoe County reporting 2,656 total cases and 913 active cases. So far, Nevada has reported a total of 504 deaths due to COVID-19. Covering the story, Brian Hoffman. Two news.